Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. It's Brandy, and I'm here to feature or present to you ta -da, my um, entry into the um, I Am Roses contest. Check them out at I Am Roses DT. Um, they're hosting a um, contest. It is, I believe, in the garden. And my take on it was that I wanted to capture the beauty of a few of my favorite flowers that I use in um, my projects for Mayan Roses. And they would be the gardenias, the skeleton leaves, the puffy daisies, the um, cherry blossoms, and I don't remember the name of this one, I'm sorry, and then the roses. Um, what I started off with is, I was at Michael's the other day with the kitties and we were walking around aimlessly because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to enter the contest, but I didn't know what to do and um, so I was there for quite a while and imagine being in there with a six-year-old and a two-year-old. It wasn't pleasant. So anyway, here I am. I have purchased the uh, 4x4 artist canvases. And um, I have used the Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder, and I believe it was the um, Midnight Bronze to frame out the canvas. And the base coat is a folk art, antique white, and I used, or actually sprayed over the um, antique white, the Golden Sleigh Bells by Lindy Stamp Gang to give it a little bit of a glittery feel to it, a shimmer, and um, the colors that I used on the flowers, all the products that I used on, not all, the majority of the products that I used on this project was the I Am Roses, of course, and the Lindy Stamp Gang. The colors that I used to create or color the flowers in were the Red Hot Poker Orange, Golden Sleigh Bells, in jazzy jazz in purple and as you can see I'm almost out of my purple I need another one I think that's my third one the golden sleigh bells and that purple I go through quite often um, the f another embossing color that I used was the twilight bronze and then to color the leaves in here and the skeleton leaves I used the um, magical moon glows the Bell of Ireland in the mica powder golden leaf. So those are the colors that I used. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. What did I do? Um, it was important to me to capture the beauty of each individual flower and that's how I came up with this tile um, project. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that you can see a little bit of what I've done. The title of this project was Time Standing Still, or Stand Still, and then you'll see the Tim Holtz, the gears, and the arms, and then here's some more gears and arms up there. The flourishes here are from Lindy Stamp Gang, and it says Together Forever, and if you notice, I'm going to go to my skeleton leaves. I'm going to zoom into the skeleton leaves. I use my melting pot to give them a glossy, glassy, they look like glass almost, accent. You know the Prima leaves that you pay big bucks for? Well, I get 100 leaves for $2.50, and they are so versatile. I can do so much with the skeleton leaves for my Roses. Um, this is one of many that I, um, many things that I can do to the skeleton leaves. I think it's just so pretty. When the um, embossing enamel is hot, you can glitter on some glimmer dust on it to give it another effect, but I didn't do it here on this one. And then also on my other solid leaves, let's see if I can get to that one there. I also put that one in the glossy accent or in the um, melting pot. So this is I call my title tile. And then if we go up above are the puffy daisies. And again, there are my leaves. They're going to cross over. And that wooden piece there, I picked up, I believe, from Michael's. 
and I colored that with the, I want to say, brown Magical Mica. I think it just came out so pretty and they captured, like I said, the beauty of each flower. I mean, just look at those cherry blossoms. You can't go wrong. I mean, just the detail of the flowers. And, you know, and you have to thank Booma because, you know, you get your order. I'm here in California. You get your order in about seven days. And it'll take you five to ten minutes to open up the box because Booma does a fabulous job in protecting your flowers so that they look like this when you get them. They are not crushed. They are not mushed wet or anything or deformed. They are in perfect shape. She does a fabulous job in protecting um, the flowers. So um, they're just gorgeous. Look at the leaves. Each leaf is from I Am Roses. The skeleton leaf there. And um, I'm going to move down to the mini roses because I use that one quite often as well. Let's see here. Oops, sorry. This one here has the mini buds and the open buds. I have several different sizes. And the flourish here, I don't know if I talked about the flourish was from Liddy Stamp Gang and I embossed that as well. And this was a lot of fun, and I've always wanted to put something on my hutch, um, a little of my creativity on my hutch, and this is just perfect. In the f it doesn't match, though, because my whole room is pink, greens, and blues, but these deep, rich colors just, they talk to me on this project. And so that's what I chose to do. Um, so anyway... <laughs> This is my project, and I enjoyed making it for you. I want to thank I Am Roses for hosting this contest. And I look forward to seeing all the other beautiful projects everybody else comes up with. It's amazing on how many different techniques that are out there using these flowers. So it's always nice to watch everybody's videos and get some ideas here. So I hope I've inspired you and given you a few tips and techniques on how to use the I Am Roses products. And thanks again for hosting this contest and take care. Bye-bye.